What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Radio What Studios, and this is my podcast, What Makes You Famous? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time, and if you need DJ services, where do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. One more time, djlittlerock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. You know I like to party with the people. The people need to be entertained. Are you not entertained? Let me entertain you. Today on the program, speaking of entertainment, I have a return engagement, a return engagement with Heidi Tan. Heidi Tan, you know she was on the, the show, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago, something like that. Well, now she's been doing so much. She's got a new song. Well, a new f- few songs out. Good Vibes is one of the big ones that's making traction all over the world. But what she's here to promote, and I want to say that right at the top, is she's got a show on Sunday, 8 2024 That's August 25th, 2024, over in Torrance, California. It's called the Summer Smooth Jazz and R&B Night at View Music Bar. Yeah, that's uh, 1431 West Knox Street in Torrance, California. View Music Bar, August 25th. And we're going to find out a little bit more about Heidi Tan and what else is going on in the next few minutes. So stick around. This week's shows, let's see. Oh, I have one public show for you, my lovely, lovely listener. I'm at the Rab in Conway, Arkansas. My usual Friday night gig, the video dance party, karaoke jam. Yes, I said karaoke. You're the stars of the show. Video dance party, karaoke jam at the Rab in Conway, Arkansas on Friday night from 8 p.m. until at least 1230 in the AM. They got a full bar, kitchens open, good food. The more you eat, the more you can drink. Hey, it's not me. It's science. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Trust me. Don't trust me. Don't trust me. Not on that. No, I'm not. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Uh, am I a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. They got uh, pool tables. They got ten diamond style pool tables. I do know that. And they got a pool tournament on Friday nights. Uh, so if you want to try your hand at playing pool and possibly make some money while you're doing it, check out the Rab in Conway, Arkansas. Yeah, good times. And then on Saturday, Saturday, I think I have a private party. So. Unless you're invited, you cannot come. But I do love doing my weddings and corporate events and birthday parties and all kinds of events on Saturday night. And every once in a while, I'm at the Choctaw VFW or doing a public karaoke show. I think I'm back at the at the Choctaw VFW in September. I'll let you know as time progresses. All right, that's enough intro for this particular podcast. Let's get into it with Heidi Tan. So excited. I got her on Skype. So if you're listening to the audio version of this, I encourage you to check out the video version on my YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash keys. Dan Skyping Heidi Tan now, now winner. Oh my goodness. Heidi Tan in my face. Once again, I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see. Uh, my thriller from Manila, uh, my favorite diva, uh, former Girl Scout, former cheerleader, former Glee Club, former theater kid, graphic designer, producer, uh, social media, pianist. I mean, all these things. And jazz. Cool. Jazz. Cool. Gar- gardener. Cook. Gardener. <laughs> gardener. Cook. I all love right. Plan- I Let, love I love plants. <laughs> all right, all right. We, we, we can talk gardening because I, I have a lot of gardening to do around my house here. I know that oh. I, I have a lot of things on my list and, and ideas that I want to do on my landscaping. But before that, you know, I, I'm, I'm a bigger dude. I want to talk about food. Uh, you know, uh, oh, you're, yeah. you're my girl from Manila. You're you're my. Uh, uh, you know, what kind of food do we have in the Philippines? Or, or is that the only kind of food that you're cooking? Are you cooking other kinds of food? I can cook um, anything. I love uh, to cook, cook Italian. I can, all, I can also cook Filipino, Japanese, Chinese, and some uh, Malaysian food. I cook Spanish food. I can cook Mexican food because I'm now living in California. Obviously, I have to learn Mexican food, right? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I have to adapt. 
Adapt. <laughs> yes, overcome, adapt. Now, you mentioned Italian adapt. food. I'm going to say it for the first time on this podcast. I've never said this before, but I just found out over the last week that I am more Italian than I thought I was. It turns out that my grandmother on my father's side was straight from Italy. Petricelli. And so I have oh, wow. so much Italian. Oh, wow. I knew I was half Cuban, and I knew I was a little bit Irish, and I knew that there was a little bit of a, Italian in there, but I find out that I'm at least a quarter Italian, so that's why I like the Italian food so much. No, that's not why, because Italian food is great, okay? Uh, you know who <laughs> likes Italian food? Italian people. You know who else likes Italian food? Everybody else, pretty much, Everybody in the whole else, wide world. Much. Mexican yeah. food. There's a reason that we have so many good restaurants in this country. It's the melting pot. People from melting all pot. over the world come here, and they bring their flavors. And you know what? who gets the benefit? Me, this guy, this yeah. guy. Because I get to go to yeah. every one of those restaurants. Thankfully, I'm, I'm honored to try out different foods. And I get to eat them. I think I need to start a food blog because I just want to get paid to eat food at a restaurant. Hey, this is a tax should. write off. I think you should. Guy Ritchie. You're going to be the Guy Ritchie. Oh, right? bang. <laughs> what? I need, to, I need to come up with a catchphrase like uh, uh, <laughs> boom. That was great. Uh, awesome. Excelente. Something. Something, some kind of a catchphrase. Maybe I'll... I'll I'm, uh, I'm not kidding. You can fit in that show. <laughs> but I you need funnier really hair. Maybe show. I'll frost my tips or something. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I had a See, beard. I had a beard until just this afternoon. But I figured since I'm talking to the one and only, the beautiful, the lovely, the talented Heidi Tan, I figured, let me go oh. ahead and shave. Let me get smooth, you know, so I don't look so dirty. Ooh. I don't look so, so scruffy. Uh, ye yesterday's podcast... I was scruffy because I was talking to a dude and it didn't matter. But today <laughs> I have to try to look my best, which may or may not be the best, but it's the best I can do. Heidi Tan, you do the best that you can do. You give your best when you get on stage. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Yes, I try to do my best, but every time it's not going to be going to be enough. But it's always it's always trying your best. It's the best. Well, we discussed right? it's always the best. We discussed a lot of things on the last podcast, and I encourage my loyal listener if you haven't heard it already, check out Heidi Tan. Uh, I think the title was Heidi Tan Baby Come Back. Mm -hmm. This one oh. is Heidi Tan Good Vibes because I know oh, that that vibes. has become a number one record, a number one album. People are loving the good vibes. It's it's a trope, okay? I remember Marky Mark, he had good vibrations. Yes. The Beach Boys before oh. that had good vibrations. Oh. So good vibes mm -hmm. is just the way the kids do it. You know, you kids, you, you kind of pep it up a little bit. Good vibes with a Z, Z because it's cool, Z. just like Heidi Tan. Good vibes with a Z. <laughs> well, tell me about the good vibes. You know, are, are you living the good, oh, good vibes? vibes. What's, what's been happening we, since the last time we talked? Oh, good vibes has been... We, we did like two types of remix and the other remix that Mike Harrison, Mike Harrison is my co-songwriter on this song. And we came up with a new version of Good Vibes, the remix, and it's been doing well in the charts. And uh, it just keeps going better, better and better because when we release it 2022, the original version, I think I came, I came on your show uh, 2022, right? Something like that. It's not 2020, something like that. So... I didn't have a baby come back then. I had baby come back 2023 last year. So I don't think we had an interview for my baby come back release, right? Well, no, that was what we were talking about that it was upcoming. Oh, yeah, it it okay. was going to okay. it was going to be happening. That was what you were there to promote. I know that you're here to promote pretty much a show that's coming up real soon. But you know, yes. Oh my goodness! You even have the poster. I have. Uh, I'm going to add uh, your poster of this show with Nils, Michael Garvin, Joe Levy, and you, the the one and only Heidi Tan. But uh, you know yeah. what? What has been happening since the last yeah. time we talked? Since 2023? Since Baby Come Back? Have you been well, playing show after show after show? Is I it do. busy? I do. Yeah, it's been busy. It's been. I've been trying to uh, to work on some music and um, just pretty much trying to uh, collaborate with a lot of artists. But but the show um, this is going to be a cha there's changes because 
apparently for some reason Michael Garvin and CDK can't join the show. Uh, but we have Nils and Joe Levy and Kenny Harris and other guests coming up on the show. So that's changes. So I'm just letting you know that's the update. So we have Nils, Joe Levy, Kenny Harris, and some artists showing up on the show. Uh, surprise artists coming up on the show. So surprise, surprise. Well, but that's anyway, the trouble. Have- that's the trouble when we get older. Uh, you know, things come up. Uh, when you try to keep a band together, and I know that when you sing, you like to have a band. We've already talked about yes. that. You don't want to do already, a karaoke performance. You don't no. want to have a backing track. <laughs> you want to have a that. full band with drums and and horns and rhythm and all kinds of different instruments. Uh, you know, when you, uh, I'm looking at some of your videos, and my goodness, there must be ten people on stage all grooving together. And getting the, yeah. you know, and two vocalists like at band. least. It's just, yeah. it becomes a big show. I remember Earth, Wind, and Fire. I remember Chicago. Yeah. I remember Spyro yes. Gyra. I remember, you know, all these big bands would get up throughout the 70s and just somehow you get it all together. How do you, I mean, it's hard enough to get one girl with a piano to play and sing by herself and make that sound good. But then you add three, four, five, seven, ten more people to the mix. How do you get that groove together? I'm so in awe. I don't play an instrument. I play. I push buttons. You know, I used to push. I used to put a needle needle on the record. uh, You know, two turntables and a microphone. Put the needle on the record. Now it's all digital. So you just, yeah. it's the digital wheels of steel. I put a Heidi t- yeah. Tan song in my MP3 player. Boom, press that mm-hmm. button and the people are grooving to Heidi Tan. Ooh, yeah. good vibes. Ooh, good vibes. Feeling good. I mean, but, uh, <laughs> yes, you know, tell me is. about what's been happening since then. What what kind of shows are you playing? Well, well, we're coming up. I just came up with this show because I found this place in Torrance. It's a very uh, nice and elegant place. It's called View Music Bar. And I fell in love with the whole uh, lights, LD lights that the owner spent so much, I think less, like thousands and no, more than like $10,000 for LD lights. It is beautiful. It ri- just kind of reminds me of a Vegas style of club. And I just learned, I just, I just realized I want to do a show in this place. I mean, this is new and it's not even known for really a lot of jazz uh, shows, but I'm going to try and build this bar and make it a jazz venue. So I like being uh, doing something organic that n- nobody has done, and I'm going to start something from scratch. So And then I talked to the owner, and, and I started talking to the, the artists that I work with, like Niels and Joe, and, and other artists that's Kenny Harris. And, and, I, and the musicians, I've known them because, you know, the way you research people, because being me as an HR recruiter, I know how to search. You have to go network and find good musicians. So I go to some bars like Spaghettini, uh, Vibrato, and find these musicians playing with other artists and started approaching them. And I said, I want to work with you guys. And, and, and then some of them have worked with me for like third time. And some of them, I'm just putting them on board for the first time. That's how it is. Well, that's just and it. You just, yeah, you come yeah. up with an idea. You build a show and build if you it build it, scratch. they will come. You might be the one that's responsible for Torrance, Canada. Uh, and, you know, for uh, Torrance, California, what? California, 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 Torrance, California. California. Bam! I forgot you moved to California. You're, it's yes. Heidi Tan <laughs> in California. No, so yes. in Torrance, California. And funny enough, I think I've been through Torrance, California. You might make that the jazz capital of the world. Okay, because knows, Heidi right? Tan comes through and plays with Nils, plays with Joe Levy, plays with some secret hidden, uh, you know, secret surprises that people are getting out of their houses to come see. I mean, they're all here. They're all there to see the lovely Heidi Tan. That's pretty much it. I mean, I know (laughs) uh, those guys, they're very talented, but they want to see Heidi Tan. You're the one that's bringing, bringing the, putting the butts in the bucket. And, uh, you know, making sure that people are there having a good time and happy. Yeah. But, you know, I, it's, it's, you know, because we already talked about you being responsible. Mm-hmm. You just mentioned that you're in HR. So uh, the LinkedIn, look out. Uh, here comes Heidi Tan mm-hmm. taking over. Mm-hmm. You know, but you've, you've mentioned that you're, 
in, you're a front person. You're the leader. You, your, your leadership translates into different works. You, you've also gotten to the, some graphic design, some production. Yes. Have you been working on that? Uh, getting your, have you yeah. been making more music on your own? Just like you said, yes. Bruno Mars uh, does the same thing. Quite a few people, quite a few of the major artists know yes. the ins and outs, the, the front of the, uh, the microphone and also behind the microphone, behind the scenes. You know how to work that mm -hmm. board. Have you been doing that lately? Yes, I've been doing that. And, and I have good collaborations because I found some good team and I have publicists, my, my daughter and my sister, they helped me do the, the press release for me and the marketing, I'm, I'm learning from it. I sometimes I go to training, like online training, how you go about social media, how do you go about being a brand, being a, trying to be a brand because the artist, you are the brand. So you have to be able to establish your brand because you are the product, right? If, in it, if you're not interesting enough, nobody would be interested in your brand. So it's like ba basically learning how to build your brand as an artist and then trying to find some people who can work music with you. And I'm incredibly humbled because I have found a lot of good uh, producers and, and, and musicians that's, that's willing to work with me. And, and I know building a show is, is a lot of sweat and blood that takes a lot of effort and it's not easy. It's not for everybody. Not every artist has, to, has an interest to be able to produce a show. It takes a lot of networking and you have to be well connected, you know, have to advertise and you're not going to be hiding in your house, in your room, and you think that people are going to show up on your show. It doesn't work that way. You have to be out there and try and connect with people. Well, Heidi Tan, you're such a good producer. You produced your own teammate. Your daughter's now mm -hmm. working with you. That is a wonderful mm -hmm. thing to keep the family together. You can always count. Okay, but more often than not, you can count on your family to, to help you yes. in times of need and to be yes. there when you're in the good times and the bad. So it's nice. How do you feel about that? Working with your daughter. I feel, I feel, yeah, I feel good about even my, 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 my hubby, David, is actually stepping in on the show. He's going to be taking care of the banquet side of the show, which is so amazing because it's like a family business. Everybody's trying to put in their effort to make this show successful. So we're stepping on the bar and the sales for food and drinks. So, and I'm trying to do all the production concepts. I mean, I mean, I am not just a producer. I'm also doing the script. I'm trying to do the concept, the shows to organize all the logistic for the bands and where they're where they going to be staying hotels. And, you know, this, it takes a lot of, to be able to, to come up with a good show and not a gig, but the good show. And you have um, like sponsors and then you have hosts. You have to make sure you, you research the artist. What are you, what are you going to say about the artist? You, how are you going to introduce them? And, you know, it's, it's just about me being creative and being able to watch a lot of shows and it gives me ideas when I watch it. So I can do something like that. So it just gives me idea. You have to be able to see what's going on in shows right now. It's like watching Voice, American Idol. And I can do something like that. So it makes it like a television show, not only just a gig show, right? Yeah, I'm happy that you have a team because it's hard to do it all by yourself. Mm -hmm. It used to be it, it's hard. Uh, as a singer, you would... Uh, Pretty much okay. There, there's the uh, the joke about the load in the drummer. He's got all this equipment to bring in. <laughs> yeah. The guitarist, he's got amp. He's got guitar. Uh, the pianist, yeah. uh, a keyboard. Oh, he's got an amp. He's got a keyboard. Yeah, yeah, and here yeah. comes a singer. Yes. Microphone. That's Microphone. it. That's all I need to bring. No, there is yeah. more work to do. No. Especially if you're yeah. the leader, you have to build the brand, as you said. Build now everything yeah, you could learn on YouTube, people. Uh, think that they need to go to college yes. nowadays. The debate is, do I need to go to college or can I just Google everything? Can I YouTube everything? Yeah. Can I find the tutorial yeah. and learn how to be that thing? Yes, if you want to be a brain surgeon, yeah. you better go to school. You want to be a lawyer, <laughs> no, you yeah. better go to that school. But if you want to, to be a, a musician or if you want to learn Digital, the yeah. business, Digital. I think yeah. you can probably learn that on YouTube. Now, you do, building a you brand... Do. At Heidi Tan. Everything should be at Heidi Tan. Am I right or am I wrong? Even though I'm not in the Florida Keys anymore, Keys Dan is something I came up with back in 
2000 or earlier, probably in the mm -hmm. mid 90s, Keys Dan yes. came around and he followed me. Keys Dan followed me all the way to oh. Arkansas. So Heidi Tan really? at Heidi Tan. Not all of your social media is at Heidi Tan. Do you find that? Do you find people telling you or do you learn that that might be a problem or is it okay? It can be consolidated on your website. It's fine. Could, could be consolidated on your website. That's that's why it's a lot to be an artist. It's a lot because you need to produce your sh your song. You have to collaborate with with good musicians. You have to come up with good uh, the sound. The engineer mastering is another thing. And building your album and building your social media. How do you promote it? How do you hire a promoter? And if you don't know, you have to pay someone to do it for you. I mean, it, I mean, not ed not everybody can be an expert. So. You need to probably put out some money. But at the end of the day, it is your business. If you're willing to invest and put something out there, you have to really invest either time, money, and, and, and effort, and, and a lot of things. You also invest on how you look like because you want to look good. You want to invest on clothes sometimes. It doesn't have to be expensive clothes, but it's something like, you know, presentable that you don't look like, you know, you just came out of the shower and you have towel there and you're going to come up with an album, right? <laughs> hey, unless you're in a punk band, then it costs a lot of money to look trashy. Okay. So, uh, they, they probably spend a lot of money on those clothes just to rip them up yeah. and to, uh, and to yeah. run them over with their car to make them look dirty, yeah. you know, and then put them yeah. in the wash and then scrub them up. And now, Hey, that those clothes look wrecked, but they cost a lot of money. But so, yes, yeah, so your appearance, your style, uh, you mm -hmm. in, in the jazz, I mean, that the, you're the epitome of jazz. You're, you're, you, you look like a jazz artist. You walk, you talk like a jazz artist. It's, it, you eat, sleep, and breathe this jazz, this thing called music, this thing called show. And I'm sure that, yes, you could sing the phone book. We talked about that before, too. <laughs> You yeah. remember that. Huh? Oh my goodness. I it's etched into my brain. It's tattooed the last time we talked. Yes, and we talked about different artists that can that can do that. And I, I believe that you can. You have the ability. Uh, now your piano playing. You said you you played a little piano, you know chords. Have you been practicing? Have you been practicing uh, that? Not not really lately because I'm more into a getting this show um uh, put this show together so i'm not haven't been time i haven't really retired probably if i'm not working anymore i could focus on on just uh just playing piano uh, producing music but you know it it the facts back of the matter is there's bills to pay so you still have to work and there's yeah, not enough hours in the day i mean i know i after I, after i get done with my day job then i want to do my night job i, I have a lot Very of fun nice in both jobs I, you know i i love you doing do. what i do I, i'm always talking into a microphone either on the radio or on the uh, on the dj thing or, or yeah. on the podcast or or just learning about different news items I, i'm always wanting yes. to learn something and thankfully i have people like you that are, are willing to come and sit in front of me and teach me a few things, <laughs> teach me how, how to do this business we call show. Now you have show. an actual paper poster for those that are listening to the, the audio version of this, check out the video version on my YouTube page because you already showed an actual picture, an actual printed out copy of your, uh, your show that's coming up. In, on uh, yes. what in yes. in in late August? Uh, what is it? Smooth, smooth. August, oh, August twenty fifth. August twenty fifth. Yeah. yeah. Summer the, smooth jazz. Summer and smooth. Night. Yeah. Summer, summer smooth, smooth jazz, jazz and R and B night, night. <laughs> at, at View Music Bar. Oh, that's View fantastic. Music Bar. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you have a paper. You know how long it's been since I've printed a photo, since I've printed oh. any kind of a poster. I, I mean, I have posters on my wall. I have some. Some superheroes, some uh, some different artists that I've you talked do. to that have given me uh, different uh, mail. In fact, uh, you know, I have mm -hmm. I have a yeah. lot of uh, artists that have have sent me mail, and I still haven't opened it. Mm -hmm. I like to do unboxing oh. videos to to uh, really? to promote the people that that send me things. Yeah. But I, you know, mm -hmm. I'm so backed up, and it, like I said, there's not enough time in the day to do everything that you want to do. But no, you have not enough time. You're getting not into the social time. media aspect of it. You're getting to the show booking of it. Yeah. You're 
I mean, your HR from the daytime has it's bled out into the nighttime. You are the HR nighttime. of the Heidi Tan. Transform. Yes. You transform. <laughs> but you're still in charge. You're still the, the, the lady that people look up to. That they, uh, Now, here's another thing. Are you wanting to branch out into shows? Or is that something that yes. you left a long time ago when you were a little kid? Like, uh, I'm talking about like theater plays. Have you thought about getting, getting back theater, in, on stage? Theater is in- interesting. Probably, if there's an experience for me, this an opportunity, I would probably do theater because because I haven't done theater. I mean, I've done. I used to do Greek Lee. I was a, a singer in a choir. I did perform in bands. Maria. I did perform in all kinds of shows, but never on theater. So, uh, so theater probably when I was in high school, I did a few of theater, but not anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm excited if I'm given a chance to do that. Well, let's put that out in the atmosphere. Maria from West Side Story is coming back. Okay. You were Maria. You were the lead of my favorite play of all time, wow. a production of yeah. that. So, uh, Maria, you know, uh, you, you got to find, find your Tony and, uh, and, and go Tony. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can barely, no, I can barely think of Grammy now if I can get it. So Tony's another thing. Yeah, I'm going to be like Egot, right? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Tony from West Side Story. Come ah, on. Tony, I thought I told me about Tony Awards. <laughs> Tony, don't tell, tell me it's not for true, Tony. Tony, tell me it's not for true. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that play, yeah. Got you, got you. <laughs> but yes, but uh, it, there it, are... It's in, it's in bad yeah, to have Tony Awards as well. <laughs> well, there are awards coming up in your future. I, I see it. I see it. Award. Well, I got an award. I forgot to tell you. Tell me. I just won an award in Amsterdam for my song Good Vibes. I competed against 45 countries and my song won for best in R&B and soul last year. I forgot to tell you. That was the update. Well, that has got to feel so good. The reason I called this Good Vibes because I saw it on your social media that Good Vibes had been getting a lot of traction throughout yes. this world yes. of ours. And you say Amsterdam really showing you some love. Yeah. All right, Heidi Tan, are you taking it from California to Amsterdam? Are you heading they, they, over there? They mailed it to me, the award. And I also got an award for the Filipino-American community for the Spotlight Award. It is uh, held by Moch Carino, and he just handed me an award uh, for Best in Jazz in the Phil Amp community in, in United States. So I'm going to get that award this coming September in Hilton, in, in here in the Hilton, on September 22. So that's that's an update. Heidi Tan. Now you know, now that you're winning these awards all over the world, uh, you know, from uh, not just your own community, uh, you know, the Filipino community, but also yeah, the not. Amsterdam people, uh, you might head over to the Netherlands. They're going to be wanting you. They're going to say, hey, would you mind doing a show over here? Now the HR people in the daytime are going to have to let you go for a couple of weeks, take a little sabbatical so you can go and do a show <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> I mean, people are going to start yeah. wanting you. Have you thought about taking this show on the road or yeah, are you keeping it in not? California? Why not? I really want to go to Europe uh, if there's going to be an opportunity. So, I mean, uh, I know the, the UK, Europe and uh, Italy, a lot of uh, my music has been played in a lot of countries. And I know because when I check my uh, my streaming, because they would send you and I would see it's in Europe, Germany, Italy, UK. You can see how many people streams in one month. So it's real because there's metrics that we follow. There's analytics and metrics that we see where we, our song gets played. Now, where do you see that? Is that on Spotify? Or? It's a di- it's, no, it's in dig- digital tracking. Digital So track. if you're in, the, um, in YouTube, on Spotify, and, if, and you can see it on, on your digital tracking where your songs gets played. Oh, that is so nice. Now, does that translate into a little bit of extra cheese that you could put on your hamburger? A little bit. Yes, I could probably buy... A, yeah, I could probably save some money to go to Europe with the money. A little bit. A Not little a lot, bit. but... Okay, I'm thinking a, a hamburger, yeah. and you're thinking a European trip. Okay, you're doing good. Heidi Heidi Tan, you're doing really good. This is real you good vibes. You want to go with me? Oh, Let's my go. goodness. I'd love to go. Let's go. I haven't, I've never been out of this country. I've been all over you know? this country. Oh, my. Yeah, I've been, well, I guess there was one time back in the 80s when Key West seceded from the Union and became the Conquer Republic for two days. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, the government didn't didn't like that too much. So they uh, 
They, mm-hmm. they, they're they back in the union, even though there's still f- flags down in Key West that celebrate the Conk Republic. We were an independent oh. nation at one time. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, just like... My. Well, oh my. well uh, there's a lot of states, I mean, the, beyond the Civil War, uh, that uh, Texas and I think California have both uh, wanted to, to become their own countries, secede from the Union at, yeah, for, at one I time heard or another. About it too. And, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. It's, yeah. uh, you want to fight. <laughs> there's, well, I mean, there's a lot of people in, the, in California, and there's a lot of money yes. that comes out of California. And a lot of times, uh, Californians feel like they're paying more than their share. They, yes, they make a That's lot of right. money, That's and they right pay too. a lot of money in taxes. So they feel taxes. like they're not getting, maybe all that tax money is getting spread throughout the country, and California is not seeing the fruits of their labor. So they sometimes oh, they yeah. feel like, huh, you're not treating me right. I need to go. Like any relationship, you're not treating me right. I got to go. But thankfully, I got to go. Yeah. You got to go. But thankfully, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you have a great relationship. Your husband is yeah. in on this. It's a family affair. Your your husband, family affair. your daughter, uh, who else was helping your sister? My 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 family, uh, his family is joining. And and yeah, I mean it's a family affair, you know, just like Mary J. Blige, well, the song. Who's, right? Yes. Oh my goodness, good one, good one, good beat, good good rhythm. Oh, for sure, I like playing that one. I drop I drop the needle on that one, uh, metaphorically speaking, because of course it's just Metaphor- push metaphoric. a button. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, what you, come, what you should come to California and perform. Oh my and, and gosh! Play with, yeah, on my gig, you should be my dj on one of my events right it has been a long time since i've played in california there was a time that Mm -hmm. i used to follow a singles group so i went to san diego uh la Mm -hmm. bakersfield uh pasadena uh san francisco out to vegas so there was a time that i played uh, you know uh, a few gigs in California, as I was traveling cross country, so that's another thing. Is you said you wanted to go to Europe, you might be able to to get it to where you go to Europe, get some paid gigs. Those gigs pay for your vacation. Isn't that great? You have a skill be, that that is be great. wanted be great. all over the world. It's like a paid vacation. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yes. And I just pray about it if it's going to be given to me. I just I just don't want to be so, you know, into it. But if it happens, it happens, right? But it's part of my plan. If there would be an opportunity to perform in Europe, why not? I would love to see. Uh, because you, Europe, they love, they love actually good music. They're really, when they like an artist, they really stay close to the artist and be a fan forever. That's one thing. Uh, you know why Tina Turner moved to Europe, right? He, she really likes to live there. Yeah, Jim Morrison did it. Uh, I think what Jim did he? Morrison, yeah, and, and, a lot and of quite artists. quite a few okay. artists though. Yeah. They'll move quite a few artists. Uh, who, uh, they moved to Europe. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Josephine Baker. I think she was the earliest oh, one he, that moved to oh, France, okay. and because yeah. she wasn't getting she wasn't getting a lot of love because of her love. race and all that, but she was singing exactly. such beautiful music, and she went to France, and oh my goodness, they showed her the love over there the in love, France. But the that love. was. What the twenties, the thirties, the forties, way back then, and uh, sometimes you got to go where the people want you. Yeah, and if uh, yeah, thankfully, thankfully they want you there in in Torrance, California, and around California, Uh but uh, they also want you in Amsterdam, and they want you in the Philippines. Have you ever thought about getting? I mean, I know you. Well, well, I I I was talking to all my peers there in in the Philippines because I see I still have some connections there, like. If ever I, I decide to go back to the Philippines and stay for like a, a few months or one month, I would probably do a bar tour, like like three bars that I could do a show with my uh, my friends. My friends are pretty much active, still performing in in Manila, and we could we could come up with we could always come up with a gig or a show, a mini show, like you know, an intimate show, like like two hundred people, two hundred fifty people, not a lot of people, but. I, I love intimate show because I feel close to the audience. I can interact directly. I could see their faces, right? But if it's going to be a big arena, I don't mind. But it's just, I just feel more personal when you perform in a smaller venue, right? 
Well, just call up our Arnel Pineda and uh, tell him that you you want to have a show. Uh, maybe just a maybe a few thousand of your closest friends will show up, you know, yeah. and, and uh, yeah. help you help you to get your your vacation in Manila and uh, sure. uh, Amsterdam. But uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I remember we talked about Arnel Pineda too because he's probably the most famous yeah. guy uh, that I know out of uh, out of out of the Philippines having that yes. magical story of him joining yes. journey. I know we talked about yeah. that. My goodness. And you actually know of him or know a little bit of, uh, t- uh, about him. I say we, I say we call Arnell Pineda. Look, we'll just do it on, on the internet. Uh, you know, Arnell, come on, let's go do a hey. show. I'll open for you yeah. one time. You open for me one time. We'll have a good show. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, we'll sing that together. Would be in, that'd be in- interesting. And I also, I know we have Leah Salonga. She's oh. been very good in Broadway. She did like Aladdin, right? And she went. At, she won a Tony Awards. You know, first I think she's the first Filipino who won Tony Awards. Beautiful for, uh, for that. Yeah, that's Leia. So she's really adorable. I I love that lady. She's amazing. She's very charismatic and she's very good. You know, and she was the first one who who actually did uh, made a good name here in the United States in the Broadway. Uh, uh, um, world right <laughs> well heidi tan it's time for you to get back on stage uh put on a show uh do some yeah. uh some musicals it doesn't have to be west yeah. side story it could be something it else have to be. what's your uh yeah. what's your other go-to uh musicals which one which other ones do you love uh, i don't know there's a lot that i like i can't even i can't even pick one because i i did like the west side and i there's actually a lot of show chicago i love chicago and i think there's gonna come up with a Chicago here uh, in in California, they're gonna revive that place somewhere here in in Cerritos. I was looking at the brochure. I think they're gonna come up with that one. So and Wicked, I like Wicked. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, if there's a, a musical Wicked. that comes on TV and you're actually just going through the channels, yeah. if you ever get to sit down and actually relax and put the TV on, but if you're going through the channels. And there's a, a, a particular musical that comes on. Mm-hmm. Which one can you not turn away from? Oh, I have to watch this one. Let's keep it going. I have to watch Wicked. Wicked. I Wicked. Okay. <laughs> I love Wicked. Uh, you know, yeah. in, in the karaoke shows that I do, there's a lot of, of girls, uh, young girls, that will come and do uh, a lot of the songs from Wicked. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's very yeah. popular. My goodness. It's a, yeah. I, I love The Wizard of Oz. The, the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. It, it, you I know, love that, too. I grew up oh, with Wizard it. Wizard of Oz. Yes. That's Wizard one of Oz. movie That's another one. that my mother can, can re- re- recite every word. And, mm-hmm. and through that, her wanting to watch it every year made me want yeah. to watch it every year. So every movie uh, version or every every time I see a different version, even the Wiz, uh, you know, or Over the Rainbow or or any of those other movies that that tell the story from a different angle, I like those. Mm-hmm. You know, I know Wicked is is from the Wicked Witch's view. Okay. But Wizard well, of her, Boss is another one. Her side. Wizard of Boss. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I love it. All right. Well, Heidi. <laughs> what tell- about Lion King? Oh. The play. <laughs> Heidi. Uh, Lion. And Hakuna yeah. Matata. Oh, for sure. For sure. Hakuna Matata. That's so cute. Yeah. I I'm not. cry a, on that movie. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say. Well, and isn't that movie. It, it, it's Hamlet, right? It's Shakespeare. Yeah. It's just another version of Hamlet it's is, is the Lion of King. Hamlet. The, the Lion King it is, it is. was adapted from that. It is. It's so amazing that the classics never die. Okay. Never this die. jazz yeah, immortal. That, that you do, it's built upon music that has been around for centuries. You know, yeah. and people around the world love music. You say that that you go to Europe, they love music. Everyone mm-hmm. likes music. Just like uh, we were talking about Mexican food or Italian food. Who likes Italian food? Pretty much everyone. If you say everyone. you don't like Mexican food or you don't like Italian food, there's something kind of weird about you. You're a little bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Oh, but you know, sp- people are starting to know Filipino foods lately. Philip. I mean, because of the, all these people blogging about, you know, other, other like Filipino foods. So pe- people are learning Filipino foods now it's becoming like a mainstream food so when I talk to them they talk about adobo pancer lumpia it's like 
I can't believe everybody knows uh, some Filipino dish now. I mean, way back 15 years ago, they wouldn't say anything about it. But it, it's becoming like popular now. Well, that's the new blog coming out. The vlog is uh, cooking with Heidi Tan. Uh, lots of Filipino yeah. dishes to start with. Then you're going to move off into Italian. And then you're going to move off into Mexican food and show people cooking yeah. with Heidi while you're singing. Cooking with Heidi. Do, 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 do. I know. You, you'll do a little scat while you're. And then and there's going to be like some guest jazz musicians or singers that sings R and B jazz while I'm cooking. And there's going to be intermission. There's going to be a jazz band. That's a good concept of, the, of a TV show, right? Yeah, let's hope that Nils doesn't get too much uh, uh, of that salt and pepper <laughs> stuck or any of that sauce on his guitar. And uh, Joe right? Levy, you know, he'll come in with that nice suit with his nice hat yeah. on, you know, looking so fly. Hey, don't get any of that sauce yeah. on my on my suit. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm too pretty. <laughs> That's but pretty. but it's, it's so funny. It's nice, man. It's nice that you have nice. good people to work with, and you're going to put on yeah. a good show coming up on uh on August on, on twenty fifth, August twenty twenty four. Yeah, at the yeah, uh, twenty twenty four. At the View, View, Music, View Bar Music Bar in yes. Torrance, California. Yeah. Oh Niels my. Niels and Joe Levy. I have a new single coming up. I'm working with Michael Calhoun. You know the. The founder of Das Band, if you know the song, Let It Whip. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Let's whip it, baby. Let's whip it right. Whip it. <laughs> whip it all night. Yeah, whip it good. <laughs> oh, whip it good. That's a whole nother song. That's Devo. <laughs> whip <Yeah>. it good. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're coming up. I have a lot of projects that I'm, 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 going, I'm working on after the show, and I would probably release this first because uh, Michael is already ready and ready to release it we just need to add some sax and i need to go back to the studio and release some songs and I have projects with other people that's trying to collaborate with me there's uh i still have songs with mike harrison i have i have uh david um there's another um david allen that's trying to work a song with me with pete tokar and I have bob baldwin if you know bob baldwin in the in the world of jazz and we we've been talking to so there's just a lot of things. I mean, hopefully, um, there's I mean, with God's blessing, my music can still continue, and I still have the strength and the money and the effort and everything. The fans who can, who is going to be listening to my music and and I have plans to tour um, Atlanta. I have plans. I have promoter working on my on my music in in other country and in and in Atlanta, other state. I'm trying to work on that one. Well, I love that these people that have been doing it for all these years, come on, Daz Band, that's classic. I put that on at the club, and those people are on the dance floor right away. Yes. Boom. Whip it. Oh, uh, burn Whip rubber on me. Le oh, for lo love it. All that groove, all yeah. that jazz, all that funk uh, that comes out. It's just uh, jazz and funk, they're like close cousins. They, they, they live together. And are you going to do yes, some of that? Do. Some of that funk as well. Get funky. No, we're gonna we're gonna do something more smooth jazz for a change, like an island song. Nice. It's like close to my heart because I used to live in the Philippines, so it's like more as vibes, bossa nova vibe, and it's like an island. So I like this song that we're trying to release. I mean, I actually he sent me a demo, and I did I did fell in love with the beat and and the vibe of the song. Hey, you know I'm from Key Largo. I love my island too. I I'm an Key island Largo. boy. I mean, I'm Key born Largo. in Miami, but raised a lot in the Florida Keys. So I like my you island. I, I miss the salt water so much. I'm here landlocked. I miss being submerged in the salt water. Do you get to the beach in a, a, a lot or at all? I live close to the ocean because I live in uh, close to Huntington Beach, to Seal Beach. It's only like 15 minutes away. Jealous. It's close to me. Jealous. jealous. Oh my goodness. Uh, even yeah. though the when I, okay, there was one week when I was doing that that uh singles thing, I went to yeah. the Atlantic Ocean, I put my feet in, and then in one oh. week I was in San Diego and I put my feet in the Pacific Ocean uh, in in the mm -hmm. same week and I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. Even though when you live in the Florida Keys, you put your you go to one side of the island and mm -hmm. it's the Atlantic. You go to the other side of the island, it's the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico. So wow. I can put my feet in both sides. And if I'm on a bridge, 
hey, I'm on both. <laughs> I put my feet on either side. No, but I, I miss yeah. being in the ocean, being in salt water. The ocean. Uh, you yeah. know, that, that is salt water. one of the things about being on, on, on our coasts, the West Coast and the East Coast. I mean, you had that yes, vibe. And the, I mean, how do you like living in California? Is it, has it been something good? Uh, uh, and when did you it's, move it's over there? It's nice in California. I mean, that's why we pay the price, right? We pay the price of living here. Yeah, because you have the best of weather. You, we don't have that crazy snow, but we don't have the crazy rain. We can't complain, but the only thing we can complain is we pay so much tax. Oh <laughs> no! And there, and there we go back to the back to the too much taxes that get spread out over the whole country, and not enough comes back to California. Oh, let's yeah. secede from the union. No, don't, don't stay together. Stay together. <laughs> yeah. It's nice yeah. to have uh, people that help you. United States. No, that's great. Yeah. No, but hey, that's let's. Let, you have a show coming up. Let's uh, let's close this up. thing down. I don't want this to be the last time that we talk. I know you got songs that were coming up in the near coming future. Up. I'm so excited yeah. to hear more about those when they come around. Yes. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. Daz Band, Burn Rubber on Me, Charlene. Right. Oh no, no, yeah. no. Oh yeah, whip it, let it whip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It, yes. The, no, he's just. I'm just honored, you know, because. Sometimes I can't even believe that these people trust their music on me to collaborate with me. Like, I feel like I'm just a little people. Why? I mean, you guys are giving me so much of, you know, attention on, on trying to work with me. It's, I'm, I'm really humbled, to be honest. I mean, it's just a lot of blessing. And from, that's from, from God. That's why they want to work with you because you still, even though you have this gift, even though you've been working on this, even though you can, you can keep a crowd of fifty thousand people happy. Oh, ex- oh no, I can see that. I hope so. You you really? could do you could do fifty, you could do fifty thousand. It's the same okay. show. You're going to give them the same energy. Yeah. You're going to give them the same performance. I suspect with fifty thousand. You're going to be even bigger because that that It'll energy, the energy yeah. just comes back and forth. Yeah. They're loving yeah. you. You're loving them. It makes you want to keep going. And I'm glad that you're still doing this. Heidi Tan. All right, Heidi Tan, yeah. let's close this thing up. I know you've given some shout outs already. Uh, Thank let's, you so much. Let's do the last, last words for the people. Uh, words to live by, something you heard a long time ago, or maybe a, a mantra that you wake up with. Or whatever pops into your head at this moment in time. He- Heidi Tan, give the last words for the people. Well, I would like to thank everybody, all my listeners and followers, and my friends and family for, for all the support that you have given me. And I'm really incredibly honored for all those collaborations, those people who's trusting their their music on me to, to work with me. And uh, I hope to be able to get more blessings so I can also give blessings. Because actually, when you when you get blessings, you also have to give the blessing. And that's how you get more it, when you give. It's like the love you give. Remember the song, The Love You Give, that I released 2021. It's a love you give, and then you get it back. But without giving back, then you can never get it back anymore. That's how it is. It's a cycle of loving, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys. See you on August 25, Torrance, California. And we're working on a show in Atlanta. And hopefully I can go to Europe. Let's cross my finger. So, and hopefully Key Dan is going to be with me, performing with me. We're going to do an event. Well, I'm ambitious. Anything is possible, Dan. <laughs> Let's make it happen, right? Crossing Let's fingers. Let's make it happen. Crossing, Crossing fingers. fingers. I don't even know what that means. But sometimes you need to. Uh, you need to. Uh, you need to always like you know think positive and see you manifest manifestation, and then it's going to happen. So you attract. You don't chase, you attract, right? Well, there you have it, party people. The lovely Heidi Tan. Jazz, 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 baby. All that jazz, just like Chicago. I think she's going to be on stage. I'm pretty sure she's going to be on stage. Heidi Tan, you're going to be on stage. You know, not just doing the, the jazz singing, but also the performing. You're going you're gonna to get one of those, uh, well, not just a, a Grammy, but you're also going to get one of those Tonys. Yeah. I, I see it in your future. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Put it out to the universe, and hopefully it comes back. Yes. Yes. But uh, make sure that you check out uh, the, the show that's coming up, my loyal listener, the Summer Smooth Jazz and R&B Night at View Music Bar on August 25th, 2024. 
with Nils, Joe Levy, Heidi Tan, some special guests. Oh, so excited. So excited. And can I make it? Hey, if I can make it, I'll be there. If I can't make it, I'll hear about it. Hopefully, I'll get to see some video on it. But if you're anywhere in the Torrance, California area, go. Check it out. Summer, smooth, jazz, and R&B night at View Music Bar. View Music Bar. All right. Thank you so much, Heidi Tan, for being on this edition of What Makes You Famous. That's it. That's it for this edition. Now, if you, now I'm turning my attention to you, my loyal listener. If you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to give me a call, 501-470-6386, or email keysdan at aol.com. That's it for me. It's keysdan, radiowhat.com, djlittlerock.com. Peace. I'm out of here.